What's up guys? Uh, so today we're supposed to be getting the Hurricane Helen or Helene, Helen, whatever, uh, coming in from Florida. So I'm gonna be doing like a random vlog. And today we got some, uh, another dog crate I'm gonna do a re review on. So I'm gonna do the official unboxing for you guys. So this is more of a furniture crate. So where you can like put things on top of it. And if you guys like it, I'm gonna have the, the link Amazon link down below. Packaging is nice and tight. Let's see if it's just as easy to put together as the other crates. I'm just gonna try to rip this box apart first. I'm not trying to do the most. So here, this looks like the top part right here. Yep, that's the top part. Kind of got a furniture vibe to it. I'm trying to replace one of my tables for some of these, so need more crates. We got a rail. This is the front part, the side part. Here's the door. Has two doors on it. So you can actually probably divide it and have uh, two kennels in there for smaller dogs. And, uh, I believe it's only 129 for this one, and the bigger ones are like 159 for the other crates that I have. I guess this is the bottom, or vice versa. So we're gonna put it together. So this is what it's gonna look like. It's gonna have like little wheels, a little top end. It's gonna be slightly smaller than my other crates. So this is mainly gonna be for Truth, um, and maybe Taz. But it comes with the little wheels in here, the little wrench, little bolts and everything that I need. And uh, in case you need little gloves for your little baby hands, they have that too, okay guys? So don't worry. So we have to build the, uh, the frame first. So I'm gonna go ahead and try to go ahead and do that for you guys. And then after that, we put the bottom end on and then it kinda goes from there. So I guess these are not wheels. They're like little stoppers. Um, I'm probably gonna go get some rubber padding on this so it won't scratch my floors because it's a little hard. That's one thing that I would say uh, I could change about the design is either put wheels on it or uh, put like little rubber stoppers on the end of it. Check it out. Get in there. Truth, get in there. 
Good girl. Do you like it? <laughs> yes, do you approve? <laughs> Good girl. Boop. But this is the setup right now. I think it's pretty dope. Three doors, one right here, one right here, and one right here, or you can always change the door to the other side. Depends on your setup. That's what I got going on here now. This is this guy's birthday, guys, so wish him a happy birthday in the comments down below. <laughs> We're taking him to the gym. Ooh, Going to the gym, he doing shoulders, I'm doing back. So that's kind of what the vibe is, so we'll see you there. Doing some calves right now. And there's the birthday boy again. Yeah, you gotta get that shit a little bigger, dude. This is my broken one, guys, so I'm working on this one. And I'm trying to switch. And what are those socks? Oh damn, he got a tattoo on here too, guys. Look at that, a bunny, what the fuck? <laughs> progress progress videos is what he's looking like shredded Let's see the back you got a back look at that shit shredded there you go yeah like that there you go you gotta teach him how to pose guys he'd be a killer now I gotta take my shit off Go do some moves. So this hurricane is supposed to hit tomorrow, bro. You gonna save me? I don't know, bro. I don't think we're south enough to go chase a hurricane. I wanna see you right now, bro. I'm gonna drop it in. It's gonna fall in the water. That big puddle over there. It's gonna. Let me get on camera, please. Here. Go. All right, go. I don't get me running in that shit. Come on. What to me? I got a broken ankle, bro. I'm crippled. What to me? I got screws in my shit. Come on, bro. Let's go. Let's go. 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 You just don't want to get wet. You don't want to get wet. Bro. Oh, bro, let's go. You're capping, bro. You see? Now you'll go, huh? Lady gotta go play. 
Yeah. Oh shit. I don't know, there's already shit going on, man. Like, this power line's already going down or what? There's like no lights out here anywhere. Oh, dude, the power definitely went out because these houses, their lights aren't on. Oh my god, the fucking power is out. So I had to step out and uh, come do finish the rest of the vlog in the truck. Um, luckily, I was able to uh, heat up my meal prep right before the power went out, so I get like one more hot meal. And as soon as I wanted to show you guys like what I had cooked, the power went out as soon as I turned the damn camera on. So got some turkey patties stuffed with uh, sweet potatoes and a little bit of a uh, pretty much sweet potatoes and a little bit of veggies, give it a little bit of filler and make it softer and add a little fiber with a little bit of rice. So I'm about to um, enjoy this in my truck and if anything else pops off, I'll record it and post it on the vlog. As you see, the fucking lights don't fucking work and shit. So we're just gonna fucking go. We are just gonna go, boys. Fucking do whatever you want kind of shit right now, guys. I decided I'm gonna go to like see if the QT got lights. Cause it looks like the house is here. They got lights. So I'm gonna go to the QT and get some ice for the, to put some ice in the cooler and put my food there that's perishable and get some snacks to hold me over just in case the power takes a little longer to put on. You just never know, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna show you my little QT haul. I didn't get much, just cause, I don't know, I got some shit at the house, so. I got some tuna snacks, whole bunch of nuts, and more nuts because non-perishable is good to have. And then for my perishable, I went and go ahead, loaded up on just four bags of ice to last me. Worst case, I'll go on another ice hunt in case this runs out, but hopefully this will last me as much as I needed to. So that's what we got going on. <laughs> 